what's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel, so in this video, we're gonna see what happens if you lose the 1960s football match in the FIFA 19 journey, let's go for 5,000 likes on this one, that would be amazing, I do indeed have the full game right now, so make sure you guys stay tuned for a lot of videos, let me know in the comment section of what you guys wanna see first, the journey, ultimate team, career mode, let me know down below, but today we're gonna take a look and see what happens if you lose this game uh, in the journey, which is amazing, take a look at this guys, take a look at the graphics, take a look at this unique game you can play in FIFA 19, it's amazing just the different crowd you can see like the pitch is obviously different it's so dirty and muddy and it just looks amazing and of course you know different kits you know we have uh, the long shorts or like the short shorts and uh, everything like that it's just uh, so old style it's amazing it's pretty much like a football game from the 1960s so we're gonna try a few different things right now and of course we're starting off with this corner right here so let's just go ahead and oh, I missed that already that is not good and um, so that is pretty much happens if you miss it uh, let's just score it right there and there we go that is Jim Hunter's 100 goal and I'm not able to do like a dab or anything so yeah you're not able to do that uh, you're not able to do like a modern celebration uh, so I guess that makes sense but it would be pretty funny if that actually worked in this game mode so there we have all the replays and stuff looking very nice and uh, yeah we're obviously gonna try and score a couple of uh, own goals right now but yeah guys just leave a like in the video FIFA 19 is here I have the full game we're, we're gonna test out the journey everything like that so I hope you guys are excited and I just cannot wait for this year I think it's gonna be really good and uh, yeah just take a look at the old kits right there guys looks amazing the kits are also so dirty and obviously you know the, the referee as well right there uh, just it, it's absolutely iconic it really is iconic and legendary this uh, thing that you can do so uh, yeah I also want to see if you can actually do like skill moves so let's just test out a few different things so yeah you can actually do a couple of different skill moves right there which is kind of interesting I'm gonna try and see if you can also do like a flick or something because that is obviously a new to FIFA 19 and yes looks like you can also do a couple of flicks here and there so that is also uh, pretty cool I guess so um, yeah you cannot do any of the like really advanced skill moves I think uh, but you can actually do like a few flicks and also a few step over so I suppose that makes sense you know um, even though it wasn't like a two skill back in the day people still did like a couple step overs here and there uh, at least like the Brazilians did but um, but you know it wasn't too popular so I guess it sort of makes sense you cannot do any of the fancy things but you can pretty much do the basics which I guess is uh, pretty cool and uh, yeah I just love the way how this feels it also feels quite um, I have to say uh, like uh, heavy to play not too sure if that's because of the pitch not too sure if that's because of you know anything but yeah it just feels kind of heavier than a normal gameplay so uh, yeah I'm gonna just score this goal right here that was not a goal uh, right at the keeper so that is not good we have a corner though so let's just try and see what happens uh, we'll just uh, put that into the box and uh, wow very, very good header but that went at the crossbar so I uh, did not go in obviously, but yeah, just take a look at the replays and everything. I love it. Let me know what you guys also think about this uh, down below. I'm gonna try and score an own goal right now, see if that is, uh, you know, works. Uh, because I've actually seen a few, um, you know, videos on this and nobody has actually uh, lost this game yet. So, I don't know if you can score uh, own goals automatically or if it's just gonna clear it away. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, just take a look at this camera angle right there. I love the goalkeeper camera angle. You can just see the stadium, you can see like everything in the back and everything is just so old styled. I wish this was like something you could do outside of the journey as well. That would be really cool if you could play this in like kickoff or something. Uh, play it online or anything like that would be super awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens right now if I just score an own goal if it works. And yeah, there we go. That was very easy. Own goal is scored and Coventry is winning 2-1 against me right now so uh, yeah we're gonna keep it at that maybe uh, they can get a couple more goals I'm gonna try and get a goal myself as well um, just to see if I can do it but yeah just take a look at the camera angles guys you can see like the dirt and everything when uh, you know they are hitting the ball and stuff it's really f uh, cool obviously you know the pitch conditions were not the best back in the day not like it is these days so uh, yeah obviously it's very different but I just love it guys, all the football, I never thought that this would actually be in FIFA, so if you guys want to play this, it's actually at the beginning of the journey, so you do not have to play like uh, 30 minutes of the journey, it's literally like the first thing that happens in FIFA 19 the journey, so uh, everybody can pretty much play it whenever they want, um, but you know, it might get boring after a couple times, uh, let's see though, is that not a free kick? I want to see like the camera angle for free kick uh, as well, even though I've seen it before, uh, because that also looked really cool. You can just see the crowd pretty uh, close up and it's just awesome. 
I'm not focusing too much on the game right, uh, right now, so I'm gonna try and score a goal or something, see if that uh, is possible for me. Uh, not too sure which difficulty this on, but it does not really matter. Let's see if we can actually do like the powerful uh, throw with the goalkeeper. Um, let's try and get it to um, the right back. And um, yeah, seems like you can do like the driven throw. So that's uh, pretty cool actually that that works uh, for the goalkeeper. But um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna score a goal because you never know. I might not have time to uh, <laughs> to score an own goal after that. It's the 19th minute, so I'm just gonna you know shoot that far away. It wasn't that far away, but uh, yeah, it did not go in, which is important. So uh, we are about to find out what happens. Is he still gonna pick up the match ball? Because that is what happens if you win it. He picks up the match ball and he looks pretty happy. You know what? Let's try and score another own goal so the defeat is even bigger. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna let them get through here. Run out with my goalkeeper. And okay, that was not really how I planned it, but uh, here we go, we can now score the 3-1 goal to them. So uh, they're gonna win by two goals, it's a bit more than 2-1, which is fine, so we'll see if anything happens right now. It would be pretty funny if, um, you know, some, there's like a different cutscene or something, but uh, yeah, we'll figure that out right now. Oh, we're about to get like a free kick, uh, no, nope, I didn't get the free kick, that would be, uh, would be pretty cool to see, but it did not happen. So uh, last chance of the game, I suppose. And uh, yeah, that is a miss. So uh, here we go. The game is now over. And let's see what happens. Is anything specific gonna. Okay, he actually goes in and picks up the match ball. Even though they lost, I suppose it might be because he scored his 100 goal. Not too sure how it works. But it does really make sense, even though they lost, though. And he did not score a hat trick, but you know, maybe it was safe from back in the day. Obviously, the team that I was on is not too happy about the result. The other team is more happy. Uh, Jim Hunter doesn't look too happy either. I think he actually celebrates. When they actually win it. So yeah, that was so uh, pretty much what happens uh, just like a different cutscene at the end right there Nothing too specific not like a specific cutscene for it But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about that gameplay down below You have to try it out. It is so cool so unique and I absolutely love that uh, this is in the game I'm about to choose the Danny Williams club in my FIFA 19 the journey I can choose which club is gonna play for and um, so I think I'm gonna go for Liverpool right there uh, Alex Sancho is not gonna play in the Premier League so he's gonna be the only one and I think they might actually also meet in the Champions League so you know what I'm gonna go for Liverpool and uh, that is the team I support so I think that makes uh, the most sense for me to choose um, so yeah, we're gonna do that and it uh, looks like Danny Williams is late for training so yeah you guys have seen this cutscene on my channel I'm gonna do like a full video about every single cutscene in the journey so you guys can stay tuned on my channel I'm just gonna go for like the fiery options almost all the time and uh, because that is the most entertaining one to choose but yeah I'm just gonna skip through this one right here because so many people have seen it and uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens, if there's anything new, any new drills in the skill games, in the training. But we'll have to wait and see about that. But uh, yeah, here we go, we're actually about to get into the training here. We can see all of the players as well. We can see uh, Karis is there, Alison Becker, uh, obviously Sal as well. Fabinho does not have a real face. But uh, yeah, this looks uh, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the FIFA 19 practice arena uh, because that is also quite new in FIFA 19. So let's see which player it is. It's gonna be Salah. I think that is because I have my favorite team set to Liverpool, so I got Salah automatically. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice arena. I do indeed like it. Uh, it's a brand new one, of course. It's not like a stadium anymore. We have uh, pretty much a you know completely training ground, uh, which you know does indeed make sense. Uh, but I also sort of miss the fact that we had like a stadium or something around. It feels maybe a bit empty sometimes, I suppose, in this uh, training area. But it reminds me a lot of the FIFA 14 arena, FIFA 15. Um, so I do like the trees and the colors and everything. Looks really nice. The fact that you can also see the skies as well is also a bonus, I guess. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I wish once again there was like three different arenas you could choose from. Not just the same one all the time, but... I don't think EA focuses too much on the arena anymore, it's not the most important thing, but it's a nice just to chill out here a little bit, you know, try and score a couple nice goals, maybe practice a skill move or something, so uh, yeah, a lot of fun to do of course, um, so let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about the FIFA 19 arena, but yeah, the new finesse shots seem very effective. So here we have the skill games menu as well, and uh, let's see if there's anything new, so I do love the advanced shooting, um, seems similar in FIFA 19. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, different things though. Uh, that one there looks uh, quite new as well. Uh, yeah, some of these actually do indeed look uh, pretty updated and fresh. Uh, they look a bit different than what they did before, so that is uh, interesting. I cannot wait to try out some uh, skill games. And then we obviously now have the menu right here. 
we have the uh, FIFA 19 Champions League mode. This is going to be really cool to try out. You can just uh, play offline, you know, make a group, a stage, and just uh, play through the whole thing. So that is very nice. They do not have all the teams which play in the Champions League, which is not the best, but it is what it is. They cannot get all the licenses, but uh, still pretty nice. I do like this menu and how everything looks. So yeah, that is pretty much all for this video. I think uh, I'm going to leave it there. There's going to be so many more videos on my channel, so stay tuned for that, guys. Once again, 5,000 likes would be amazing. And yeah, take a look at this new team of the week as well. I cannot wait until the full game is out on both consoles so I can finally start opening some packs in my FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. But yeah, that is all for now. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next time. And yeah, that is all for now. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. Wake up and pray every morning. All of the hate, I ignore it. Nothing they say is important. Nothing they say is important. I wish I could stay in the morning. But I got a plane in the morning. I'm trying to be rich and important. I'm trying to be rich and important. I'm trying to be rich and important.